Welcome to this DW2000 video presentation. In the next few minutes, I'll introduce you to the AutoCAD conversion module. This handy add-on feature allows you to import and export AutoCAD, DXF and DWG files. In this presentation, I'll cover all three parts of the module. Import and verification, error browsing and error correction in DW2000, and export. Let's start with importing an AutoCAD file. On the file menu, click import and then AutoCAD formats to start the wizard. Select the DWG or DXF file and click open. In the next dialog, you'll be prompted for a structure to import. In AutoCAD, structures are called blocks. Typically, drawings in AutoCAD are found in the model space. Therefore, select the top structure under Model and then click Next. The Layer Selection dialog allows you to choose which layers you'd like to import. You can determine which AutoCAD layer should be mapped to a specific GDS2 layer. The next dialog indicates many of the conversion options. We'll highlight only a few of them. If you like, you can determine the maximum number of vertices per shape. If a large shape has more coordinates than this number, it will be split into smaller ones. In DW2000, the maximum number allowed is 8192. In GDS2, AutoCAD arcs and circles are approximated by segments. You can set the number of segments. Open polylines in AutoCAD are one of the most common errors. You can choose to link such lines automatically and determine the most appropriate snap distance, for example 500 nanometers. If you'd like to verify your AutoCAD design to make sure that it's GDS2 compliant, select the Perform Compatibility Test checkbox. In this case, you can also select other checks to perform. Basically, there are two kinds of design errors. The first kind, which includes unclosed, self-intersecting and nested polygons, can be imported into DW2000. These are the most common errors and they can be flagged and repaired in DW2000 after the import. The second kind, which includes both geometric and other errors, will be ignored during conversion. Therefore, they must be fixed in AutoCAD first. If your design contains errors, the Verification Status dialog issues a warning. Select this checkbox if you'd like to visually flag the design errors that can be imported into DW2000 later on. For an overview of all the errors that were found, click Open Error Browser. For further information about an error, such as the exact location it occurred, select it from the list. Click Next to browse the various error occurrences. You can save the list of errors in case you want to return to it later. Once you're done, close the browser. If you'd like to perform the import, click Finish. DW2000 will prompt you for a library name. Click Save to continue. The Library Manager shows the structure that has just been imported. You can open it by double-clicking. The Design Rule Checking legend on the right 
highlights the errors. Let's have a look at the design. The element on top is a zero width path resulting from an unclosed polygon. Because the gap is one micrometer long, line linking was not performed. You can fix this error by selecting the element, moving the vertex, and changing the element from path to polygon. The second shape shows an inclusion error. You can use the Boolean toolbar to fix it. Select the operation that lets you subtract two elements. And then select the outer and inner shapes. The third shape shows self-intersecting polygons. Move one of the edges to fix this problem. The structure is now ready to export. To do so, save and close it first. On the file menu, click Export and then AutoCAD Formats. The first dialog allows you to make changes to units and scaling. You can also select specific layers to export. Select the file name and type. You can choose between DXF and DWG formats. Note that DWG files are much smaller than DXF files. Click Save to continue. DW2000 will prompt you for the structure to insert into the model space. Select your top structure and click OK to finish exporting. This ends our brief overview of the conversion and verification module. If the module is already installed on your computer, you might want to have a look at the documentation for further information. It can be accessed from the help menu. Otherwise, please feel free to give us a call. If you'd like to try DW2000 for yourself, we would be happy to send you a free evaluation version. My name's Peter. Thanks for watching.